for hockey. I can't wait. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. The Eagles win the opening face-off, and we are underway with this one. Here's the puck. Toss it up on the play. Abbotsford's through center and now in the offensive end. Colorado's got control of it now from the road end. And some good footwork to kick it away. Colorado's looking to break out. Here's a chance! Easily turned aside by Silovs. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Tries has it in their own end. Moves the puck over to Carlson. Quick feed to Nielsen. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to swat it away. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Colorado's looking to break out of their own end. The Eagles move the puck in the defensive zone. Abbotsford's got a hold of the puck now. Slides it diagonally to Kiro. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Foody's got it in the defensive end. The Eagles carry it along the wall. Scores! And just like that, we've got our first of the game. Pounder didn't even have her broadcast headset on. I was just putting it on, James. That was incredibly fast, and the coach couldn't have drawn it up any quicker. They say, hey, let's get off to a good start. I'd say they just did. The Eagles were looking for a good start in this one, and they have certainly accomplished that with the first goal of the game just minutes in. Well, you know they would have talked about making sure that they established some presence and some pace in the game, in particular in the opening frame, James. But to get up a 1-0 lead on your opponent just minutes into the game, that is a fantastic start. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Take it along the wall by Ivan. Rips it. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Silovs. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Eagles have taken a 1-0 lead. Abbotsford's taken possession in their own end. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. And he totally whiffs on that one. Steps into the offensive end. Here's a short pass to Burke. The Canucks have it from their own end. Abbotsford's got it in their own zone. Takes the feed and center and moves up ahead. And that's a smart heads up play by Burke. Takes up, come on. And they'll just dump it in and go for a line change. Abbotsford's moving it up the ice. The Eagles get a hold of the puck along the boards. Can't keep a hold of it. And the puck hops out of the offense, and so they'll be forced to regroup. Puck picked up in the open ice. And that's intercepted. The Eagles have been stealing pucks all game, and when you intercept passes and you find ways to get your sticks in lanes, you typically find a way to possess the puck, but they've got to open it up here. This game's awfully tight. Wilders takes it into the offensive zone. Colorado's got the puck. Angles it over to Johansson. Great poke check on the reach. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. One on one with the goaltender. Makes the save. Oh, and this is a great save, James. The goaltender gets to the top of the streets, makes himself look huge, and is extremely aggressive to be able to make that stop. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Moves it to Hunt. Off a stick. Grabs the puck in the corner. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Moves it quickly over to Walker. Oh, did you hear that? That was a car crash out there.
Colorado's holding a noticeable edge in the shot department here in the first, and they lead as a result. Stevens is quick on the draw. Cetrix tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Let's see what the official makes in the final decision. On well, this situation, he is going to get the trip and go. I thought he had good position there on his opponent, James, fishing for the puck. Just used his stick, and he got into the skates. Tripping is the call. Abbotsford setting their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work, and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James, finding a way to move the puck quickly and create seams to get shots on net. The Canucks gain possession. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Well, James, sometimes on a power play with more... Oh! at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game. You know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Ivan's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Pinned up along the boards. Quick pass to Ivan. Huge steal in his own end. Handles the pass at center. Shot! And that goes off the glove and it stays out. Picked up along the wall by Hunt. Power play has expired. And that's a missed opportunity, James. An opportunity to get the equalizer on the power play. Now down by one at even strength. They're going to have to find a way to muster up some energy. That one was deflating. Burks lugging the puck. Receives the pass. And he takes the feed. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Hunt. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. they got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they find themselves killing a penalty. comes out for the face-off. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. The Canucks gain possession along the wall. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Grabbed along the board by Trice. Hammers a shot. Penalty coming up here. The Eagles are getting two minutes for tripping. four coming up here well four on four is similar to three on three there's more ice available and you can't just dump it in you want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice that's two on ones all over great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end breaks it and rips it and that's off target as it hits a body tufts moving the puck through his own zone and they'll dump it in the canucks gain control of the puck away by Middleton. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, scores! And the scratching and climb has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to evens, James. I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. Past the midway mark of the frame, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Puck scooped up by Wu. The Canucks will have a chance to go to work here on the man advantage after the penalty expired. Blocked in front. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. 
That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Sends it over to Kiro. The Eagles will play it in their own end. Quick feed to Paré. Abbotsford's got the puck. Looks to pass it to Baines. Abbotsford's moving it into the offensive end. Colorado's got it in their own zone. And he takes the dish. The Eagles play it along the wing. There's a shot. Misses a golden opportunity there. Wu stick handling in his own zone. Intercepts the pass at center. Here's a short pass to Holland. Abbotsford's got a hold of it against the wall. And he takes the feed. Stop that one. And it's kicked away. Hare's taking it from his own end. From the left side, they gain the zone. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. And that's off a stick. Into the offensive end now. Great reach with the poke check. Sends it over to Smallman. Handles the pass. Colorado's got the puck against the boards. Locks it into the offensive zone. Good fight for the puck along the boards. And some nice footwork to free the puck up to his teammate. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. Knocked away. Backhander. Seelovs freezes the puck and opts for the whistle. Hunt's the key blue liner, not just because he defends so well, but because he can add additional offense. Seelovs gives his team the confidence to make creative plays, knowing he can bail them out if needed. I'll be watching these two players to see if one of them can really shine for their team tonight. Guys, back to you. And that goes off a stick and off to the side. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Well, it's tough timing to take a penalty at the end of a period. You want to make sure that you can reset and regroup. But first things first, you got to kill the penalty. The power play unit goes right back to work. When you're struggling on your power play, you gotta get your shots through. Net front presence, take away the eyes of the goaltender. And when there's a rebound, you have to find a way to convert on the second or third opportunity. A chance to get it out. And they get it out of harm's way. Quick feed to Tuck. The Eagles play it along the boards. Moves it to the middle. A blast! And he gets in front of the slot shot to make the save. on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. The Eagles have put themselves in the enviable position of playing with the lead, Cheryl. Uh, you always rather be ahead, wouldn't you? It's the best place to be, but you want to extend that lead. You want to have a, an ability to play a little more comfortable, James. You got to stay aggressive. You got to manage the puck, and you got to look to attack the net. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. Seeds teams are on the ice. They're ready to drop the puck here for period number two. Here we go. Middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Moves it to tries. Taken by Hunt. Slides the puck over. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Here's a pass in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. The Eagles 
Bruce will play it from the defensive zone. Slides the puck to Kiro. Takes it to center. Suddenly pass! Tries, plays it now. And he slides it quickly to Nielsen. Takes the feed from his own end. With the stop. The Eagles have it now. Coughs up the puck after that hit. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Colorado's got possession here in the neutral zone. Loves the puck into the offensive zone corner. Oh, he stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Play continues here, but this crowd still buzzing after what we saw. What a stop that was. Oh, uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now, James. They're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feeling. Why? Because it doesn't always go this way. So when you have it, you embrace it. How did he stop that one? As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Abbotsford's had the scoring opportunities. They just haven't been able to capitalize as they continue to trail. The Canucks win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Let's see what the officials are calling. Important task for the key players ahead of them. Up by one and a real opportunity protected. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Abbotsford's got a hold of it along the wall. Slides it up to Nielsen. Gain momentum up along the side. That's blocked by Miner. What a save from point-blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position, square to the shooter in the slot, and he makes the glove hand save. Puts it on net. Miner's going to elect to just hang on for the whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, and I like that he landed on this when he's physically engaging, keeping himself in it. Another face-off looming here on this power play. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Takes that pass back to the point. Way too much congestion blocks that. And he's knocked off the puck there. Hurries almost out of the box. And he turns that one aside. And a big kill keeps the one goal lead intact. We're back to even strength. Specialty teams are critical, especially when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity to get the equalizer, and they just weren't able to generate anything on that one. And that's a tough one to take as they remain down by a goal at even strength. And uses the length of a stick to knock that puck away. Bain setting up against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Cichek. Shuts it down with the paddle, what a stop. Abbotsford's look good offensively to this point, but they continue to trail here in the second. And they win the draw here in their own end. Now a quick pass to Smith. Along the half wall with the puck. The Canucks have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Oh, that goes just wide of the net. I think he had more time than he thought here, James, with the pressure coming in on him. He just releases the puck quick, and he misses wide. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. The Eagles have it now. Dumps it in. The Canucks have it against the wall. Looks to make a play over to Wouters. Moves the puck along the half wall. Huge stop by Miner. Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Blood goes up, makes the save. The Eagles take possession off the faceoff. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Quick shot! Can't get it to go. Slides the puck to tries. Quick pass to Carlson. Dropped him in the open ice.
Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Colorado's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Abbotsford's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Takes control of the puck. Colorado's got it along the wall. Here's a shot. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Colorado's going to play the puck from behind the cage. That's off a stick. Hero's back in the play after grabbing a new stick from the bench. And man, these things snap in half. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing when you're PKing. Well, I really like them working off the 1-3-1 sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice, so you're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. Puck sent over to Ivan. And he slides it quickly to Middleton. Takes the beat. There's the whistle. That pane of glass was busted after that heavy shot and probably terrified those fans right behind him. Yeah, everyone was flinching, just thinking that puck was going to go straight through, but a testament to how strong the glass is nowadays. It doesn't shatter, it just simply spiders. Nonetheless, it has to be replaced. Trying to get back on the attack now. Here's a chance! Oh, that's a huge stop by Silas! Seachek's taking a nasty whack, and that's going to draw a penalty. Puts it on net. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. The Eagles will serve two for slashing. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four on the ice. Four on four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. Shot! Oh, what a big time stop by Silovs! Abbotsford's effort at some point has to pay off. They've had plenty of scoring chances, but they still trail in this one. The Canucks start with the puck in their own end. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Abbotsford's penalty has expired. They now go to work on the man advantage. The Canucks gain control of the puck against the wall. What a hit on the play. Oh, my. Yeah, you clearly knew what he was doing here. He got all of them, tags him, knowing full well that he's going to disengage that puck. <laughs> Power forwards can be so difficult to contain. Why? Because you can hear them coming, James. They have the ability to deliver bone-crushing hits. Holland's penalty is almost expired. A strong penalty killing performance on that one as both teams are now back to even strength. That's a great job by the PK all the way from the entry, even once the power play unit got in. The ability to read the ice and know exactly where you want to go and where to pressure, that takes some skill. It's not just the power play that has it, trust me, I know. Great stop by the goaltender off the glove. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Abbotsford's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Oh, it serves up a little too sweet with that save. Miner's been dialed in right from puck drop, James. I mean, he's made the key saves that he's need to make, and it's all about for a tender managing the momentum swings of the game and the timeliness of the saves have really given his team an opportunity. Abbotsford's trailing here late in the second period despite being the more active team offensively. Colorado's won the faceoff. There's a shot, and that caroms off a body in the lane. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Quick feed to Walker. Quick stop by Miner. And it goes off a stick. Faceoff coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. Getting into the later stages of this period, it's a 2-1 game. Abbotsford's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Score! And we are back to even! Well, working hard, sticking to the game plan with good habits, and they're back to evens. 
This is why you practice that play, James. You're in the offensive zone, and you got to make the most of it with a key win. Everyone knows their responsibilities. They take it to the net, and it's a great goal. Abbotsford's push in the offensive end gets them the equalizer they needed. Yeah, and with impeccable timing, too, James. Yeah, at the end of the period, you always know you want to maintain your composure, but you also want to create a ton of energy. You don't want to be scored off, but you certainly want to score a goal. They did just that. They got themselves back at evens in this game. The Canucks looking against the half wall. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shoot. Oh, 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 save! Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Well, it's not good timing to take this penalty, James, late in the frame and a close game at that. They just got to get to the intermission, and then they can reset. The Canucks send their man advantage unit out once more. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. Trying to get it out. And they get it out. And he loses control here. Abbotsford's got it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Stevens. Sets a power play goal and it puts them in front. Well, that's perfect execution. You have that player advantage. You've got to use it. They did it. Now they're ahead. Well, James, we have to have another look at this goal. I mean, this is just a hard-working effort goal. Where you out battle and out will your opponent. Why? You're stumbling, and while you're stumbling, your eye's still on the puck. You know exactly where you need to move it before you go down, and you execute. And as a result, it's in the back of the net. Abbotsford's gone up by one here late in period number two. Uh, there's not much difference in this game, James. That's why every goal matters, and they get the go-ahead heading into the intermission. If they can hold on to this, they're going to start the third period with a sense of urgency trying to hold that lead. Second intermission approaching quickly here. Ref's arms in the air. we got a penalty coming up. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Listen, it's a tight game. It's late in the period. And you've taken a penalty. Now you got to stay in the present, stay in the moment, kill it off, and then you can reset the intermission. The Eagles once again send out their power play unit. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Moves it to Middleton. Shot! And that goes wide! Seelaw steals one with that incredible save, James, and his team knows it. You can see him puff out his chest. He's playing with a little bit of swagger now. And everyone in front of him knows that they got to energize. they got to elevate their game. There's the horn. Two periods down. A third period to go. Stick around and join us for the drama next. For today only, all team jerseys are 15% off regular price with the presentation of your ticket stub. Get yours before they're all gone. Thank you. 
trying to get the puck out of his own end. And that's out of the zone. Steps in with the block. Abbotsford's got the puck in the defensive end. The Eagles fire blanks on the power play. We're back to even strength here. Scores! And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Uh, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. Now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift, it's critical. That's a hard shot. The goaltender looks like he was just getting to position, gets a piece of it, but it still goes in. Lots of time left in this period. It's all tied up. Abbotsford's won the faceoff at center. Woos got it along the wing. Here he is, shot right in front. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Miner's got it and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he's been so dialed in all game, playing confident, controlled in the crease. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. The Eagles win the draw. Slides the puck over to Foody. With some open space at center. Fires it on net. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. The Canucks take it across the line. Oh, and here's the pass. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Abbotsford's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Foodie's gaining momentum. Here's a blast from the boards. Makes it look easy with the stop. Moves the puck behind the net. Quick feed to Burke. Feeds it down low. Too much traffic in the lane. And a solid save there as we play on. They just keep coming in waves here in the offensive end. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. And it's a quick pass to Rolanen. Blocked in traffic. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Hurray's got it in the defensive end. Takes a bump but hangs on to the puck. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Here's a short pass to Wouters. And that's blocked. Slick feed. Solid check to slow him down. Wilders works the puck in his own zone. Moves it to Rolanen. Sends the pass over. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Wu's going to play into the corner. And he takes the pass. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. He's tried to be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. Well, this is just a perfect screen. The goaltender can't find the puck because the screen is looking back and finding a way to take away his eyes. Does a great job, and the puck goes in. The Canucks have to be feeling good about themselves after taking the lead with that goal here in the third. Yeah, and it's not much of a cushion the way this game has gone back and forth, James, but it's something. You're in the lead, so now you want to continue with that tempo. Find a way to push your opponent back. Continue to punch and press. It's in! He scores! Gets his own rebound and makes it count! I really like the effort on this goal, James. He gets the initial shot off, but then he continues towards the net, gets in behind the defenders who can't catch up to the rebound, and he puts it in. The Eagles get exactly what they were looking for, a tying goal, and look at this where we are now in the third. They're back in this game, James. They shifted the momentum, but it's their urgency. They've been all over the puck. Their first few strides have been hard, and you can tell they want this one. Puck picked up by Shinneman. Colorado's on the attack. And now it's grabbed by Kiro. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. It's 
still lots of time left here in this frame. We got a tie game. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Handles the puck. Here's a shot. Turned aside with a glove by Miner. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. The Canucks take possession here inside the offensive zone. Gets a piece of it to make the save. And the puck's booted away. And that's a great heads up play by Middleton. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Great pressure forcing the turnover. Abbotsford's got a hold of the puck now. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. It almost looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away and it goes the other way. Abbotsford's got the puck along the wall. Scooped into the trapper by Miner. By slashing the leather on this save, the shooter's in a grade A scoring area, and man, he just whips out the glove and makes the save. The Canucks win that offensive zone faceoff. That's blocked by Miner. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. And there's a little boost from off the wing as the centers were tied up there. And that's a smart heads up play by Hunt. responsible as well. Here they come on the attack. Great reach with the poke check. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Right up the gut into the offensive end. From the place 99 made famous. Scores! There it is, the go-ahead goal! And how good does that feel? You can see the celly. The energy is certainly there. Dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically important. This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. The Eagles have found the go-ahead goal here in the back half of the third period. This is exactly where they want to be, James. Late in the third period, you have the lead. Now you have the momentum, and you certainly want to attack, but you want to make sure that you're in good defensive posture when the puck transitions. Miner's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Past the midway mark in this period. Colorado's been the better-looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one-goal lead. Scoops up the puck here. Oh, point blank. Denies him in close. We know the goaltender was set to this position, square to the shooter, to be able to make that glove save. Abbotsford's got to be frustrated with how things have played out tonight, trailing in this third period. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. Hurray's got it in the offensive end. Wilders is hauled down. The official's arm is up. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. Up by one, and you take a penalty, applying some pressure to the PK unit here as a power play as an opportunity to get the equalizer. Abbotsford's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. A power play that can even the score here, James. It is massively important that they create some kind of momentum in their favor on this one. Trying to dump it out. And they put it off the glass and out. Well, the shorthanded unit, they find a way to get to this puck first, James. And the tough part there is you've got to get it on your stick and off your stick quick, as you know the power play unit is going to be coming. This is done perfectly. Read it perfectly and breaks up the play. Here's a chance to clear the defensive zone. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Works it across to Nielsen. Cutting to the slot. And a stick 
breaks that up. And the puck's kicked free. Takes the feet at the back end. Takes the pass. And makes the save. Miner's got it, and I think there's a little strategy involved as he opts for the whistle. Well, yeah, I think he needs a rest, but it's also about game management. Listen, the only reason why they're winning this game is because he has been electric and dynamic between the pipes. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And a strong effort on that play. That'll do it for the man advantage. Phenomenal penalty kill performance on that one. The next shift is critical, James. They had the opportunity on the power play to get back in it and get the equalizer. Now they're down by one, so they have to manage some energy here, and they have to dictate pace and get back in the game. Ivan's got the puck now in his own end. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James, and if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup. And man, is it working tonight? Puck knocked loose after that hit. Colorado's got the puck. Takes a slap shot from the point. Seelops makes the save and hangs on for a stoppage of play. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. The Canucks come up with the defensive zone draw. And the puck clears the zone. Looking to break out here on the power play. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Oh, he gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Sends the cross ice pass. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a shot. Side. Oh man, he's so dialed in, makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. The Canucks were a huge penalty kill there. All sorts of pressure here on the offensive end. They are really applying the squeeze. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. Sends a pass over. Takes a shot. Looking to break out. Takes a shot. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. And now he moves it quickly to Carson. Fires it, and there's the save. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a face off. They've got the extra attacker out here for the face off. Well, they'll be looking for a quick win and advance that puck right to the net. Tries one the draw, and they'll start off on the attack. Easily turned away with the glove. The net is empty, the extra attacker's out, and a huge face-off looming. Tries wins it, they'll go to work now on the attack. And the puck skips out of the zone, they'll be forced to tag up. Well, Landon's gonna play it against the half wall. Poked away in the offensive end. Moves it quickly over to Fody. Fires to the empty net. And into the wide open cage. It's an empty net goal. Uh, and a sigh of relief as well, as it's a real insurance marker. You, you put it in the empty cage and you don't ice it, that's a good thing. Now you can see the body language on them, James. The dying moments of the game, and they're able to get the empty net goal. Everyone can take a deep breath here, as that should do it. Colorado's tenacity on full display after that empty netter. Yeah, and they earned the empty net, right, James? They got themselves a lead. They were urgent all game, and they just capitalized at the right time. And that will close the book on this one here tonight. The Canucks had their opportunity late, Cheryl, but it ultimately wound up in the back of their net with the empty one. Yeah, and this is frustrating anytime you see it go down the ice into the empty net. But, man, you got to try, right? You got to try and win the game. It was their last-ditch effort to get a tie.
That'll do it for tonight's EA Sports broadcast. Hey, look, plenty of action just around the corner, and we hope to see you then. Good night.